dear child of God, on this day, I want you to put it on record that God has said is going to discomfit the enemies. That God has said is going to stand for you, is going to fight for you, and you shall be an overcomer. He called you more than a conqueror. He said that you are more than a victor, and you shall surely overcome in the mighty name of Jesus. Do not worry what they have been doing against your life. God will be terrible unto them. What they do not know is that the more they are standing against you, that is the reason and that is the more they will bring God to stand against them. The more they are fighting against you, that is the more they are making themselves the enemies of God. The more they are standing against your business, the more they are fighting your household, that is the more they would have God stand against them. And you should know today that no one, no one that God decides to stand against would ever in any way survive it. He says the one that he falls upon shall be crushed. Dear child of God, I want you to know that if they refuse to repent, they will be seeing the wrath of God. They will be seeing the terrible side of God. Yes, he will bring a strange punishment because it is time for him to judge, to judge everyone who have risen up against you and have stood against you. He said, I will execute my judgment. I will bring my judgment. I am the Lord. I will fight for you and I will make sure you would come to your place of rest. You would enjoy peace. You would enjoy your life and you would enjoy all the benefits that I've set before you. Go to God today and say to God, thank you for all the blessings that you are sending my way. Thank you for everything that you have promised to do in my life. I receive each and every one of them already because I know no one would be able to contend with me. No one would be able to stand against me. No one would be able to deprive me of the blessings that you said are mine in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Lord said, I would execute judgment. He said he would execute judgment that he is the Lord. He is your God. He's the one that is fighting for you. He's the one that is there to preserve you at all times. He's the one that is always there to watch over you. And he said every single one who had risen against you, the people that have decided to fight your destiny, the people that decided to war against your life, the people that said your life will know no peace, their child of God, he said he would execute his judgment. He will bring forth his rod upon each and every one of them. He would make sure that the people who would not want you to rest, the people who would not leave you be, he said he will bring his judgment. The word of God in Exodus chapter 12, verse 12 says, And against all the gods of Egypt, I will execute judgment. I am the Lord. The gods of the Egyptians stood against God's people. The Egyptian Lord stood against the people of God. They were fighting them night and day. They brought pains upon their life. They brought yokes and heaviness. And God said, enough is enough. Dear child of God, God is saying to you today that it's going to arise for you and it's going to bring judgment upon all of your enemies, upon those that have been bringing pain to your life, upon those who have burdened your life. He said, enough is enough. It is time for him to bring judgment. What are those situations that the enemy have done to stand against you? Today, God is standing against everyone who stood against you. And it's going to make sure that they will receive his terrible side. They will receive the reward for their wickedness against your life. The word of God in Exodus 15 verse 3 says, The Lord is a man of war. The Lord is his name. Dear child of God, the Lord is saying to you today, I'm ready to fight for you. I'm arising for you today to bring the wars down. The wars of limitations, everything the enemies have built around you to hinder your progress. God is saying today enough is enough and it must come to an end. Remember God standeth in the congregation of the mighty. He judgeth among the gods. Dear child of God, who are those people that have vowed to destroy your life? Today, God will be bringing his judgment against each and every one of them. They have made you to sorrow. They made you to suffer. 
But God is saying, no, enough is enough. You're already giving up in life, saying there is nothing good that would ever happen to you because of the fact that the people around you have been mistreating you. Yes, they have been fighting you. They have been hunting you every day. But today, dear child of God, God is going to be arising on your behalf. And you know what he said? He said it will be terrible. It will be terrible unto each and every one of them. He said in Zephaniah 2 verse 11, The Lord will be terrible unto them, for he will famish all the gods of the earth, and men shall worship him. He said he would be terrible unto them. And that time has come for God to show that side, that side of vengeance on your behalf. He said that you should leave place for vengeance. He said you should leave place for rot because he's going to fight for you. He's saying to you today, hold your peace. I see everything that have been done against you. I see the ways and manner that they have treated you. And today, everything must stop. Today, you are going to enjoy your life and everything will turn around for your good. Everything will turn around for best. And God spake unto Moses and said unto him, I am the Lord. God is saying to you today, I am the Lord. I'm the mighty man of war and I'm ready to take up your fight. Why don't you go to God today and say, God, these are the battles before me. Please fight for me. Why don't you go to God today and say, these are the battles facing my families. Please, God, fight for us. Why don't you go to God and say, these are the battles facing my businesses. Oh Lord, fight for me. Why don't you go to God and say, Lord, these are the battles facing my finances. This is the reason that I've not been making progress. This is the reason that I've been halted. Oh Lord, come to fight for me. Why don't you go to God today and say, Lord, these are the battles facing my marriage. They don't want me to have rest. Oh Lord, today arise for me and fight for me. He said it would arise. It would arise on your behalf. And all the enemies will scatter. Every single one that said they would frustrate your life. Every single one that said that there will be a pain in your life today. Each and every one of them will scatter. He said, bring these things to me because I would give you rest. He says, come to me with these burdens because I would give you rest. Dear child of God, it is time that you voice those situations to God. It is time that you let it out. Let heaven know everything that you have been experiencing. And tell God, please, I am tired of this situation and I want it to come to an end. And I want to assure you today, God will pick it up and it would make sure he would do everything to see that everything done against you comes to an end. He will do everything for your favor, working for your good. And you would have reasons to rejoice. Dear child of God, you would have reasons to testify. God is a God of wonder. God is the God that brings amazement and is going to do something great that will cause you to be surprised in the mighty name of Jesus. You may be in captivity right now, but God is going to do something wonderful that will turn your story around, that will turn your life around for the best in the mighty name of Jesus. They were in captivity, but God showed up and made sure he brought them out of captivity. Yes, they didn't see it coming. It was like a dream of the night, but God did it and their life was blissful again. Yes, they saw joy, they saw gladness and they rejoiced all the days of their life. Dear child of God, it is time for you to rejoice. Dear child of God, it is time for you to be excited. Dear child of God, it is time for you to lift up your voice in praise because God is going to be fighting for you. Because God is going to be turning everything around. Because God is going to be taking up the fight on your behalf to see that you enjoy peace, to see that you enjoy rest, and to see that you enjoy your life again. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, God made sure that he broke everything, the instrument of wars, that the enemies were using against God's people. He made sure that he discomfited them. I say to you congratulations because you have victories on all sides in the mighty name of Jesus. I say to you congratulations because this day, as God's word I've said in Numbers 33 verse 4, 
he will smite yes he will smite all the enemies that have risen up against you today is going to be executed in judgment because it's the lord is the lord your god that i've said he will fight for you that i've said he will be with you he's the god that i've said no one would ever succeed being against you is the god that said no weapon that is fashioned against you would ever prosper you would rejoice you would have reasons to dance you would have reasons to celebrate because god is with you and he is bringing you victories all the way in the mighty name of jesus it says god stands in the congregation of the mighty he judges he brings his judgment and he makes sure that everything the enemies of god's people has done against their life will come to an end today you would enjoy your liberty in god and you would enjoy your life again from today on you have no reason to fear from today on you have no reason to be afraid from today on dear child of god you have no reason to put yourself down because God is going to be your victory because God is going to be the one you'll be trusting on until you have that victory because God will not allow you to be afraid anymore. He may declare that he had not given you the spirit of fear but he had given you the spirit of love, of power and of a sound mind. Dear child of God, you have power, you have the victory, you have the sound mind and the enemies will not be able to overcome you. Psalms 56 verse 4 says, In God I will praise his word. In God I have put my trust. I will not fear what flesh can do unto me, my God. He said I will not fear what flesh can do unto me. And he knew that he needed to praise the word of God, the word of victory that God brought to him. Dear child of God, you will praise the name of God because you are victorious from this day because the word of victory has come to you and he's saying put your faith in me put your trust in me no one can succeed against you no one can succeed fighting you yes they may have done all that they could but they will not be able to succeed you see what the word of God says in Psalms 127 it said the Lord is my light and my salvation whom shall i fear says the lord is the strength of my life of whom shall i be afraid the lord is the strength of your life dear child of god the lord is the strength of your life all the way and you should not be afraid even when you are weak know that god is your strength even when you cannot fight know that god is your strength he strengthened david in the moment it was the most weakest yes the moment it was running for his life he said god gave him strength and his hand could bend bowls of brass dear child of god i want you to know that from today the strength of the lord is coming upon you it doesn't matter your current state you would begin to do the unimaginable yes you'll begin to do the unthinkable they thought they had had the victory they thought they overcame you but from today you would receive that strength from the Lord to have the victory. God is giving you that ability, that special grace you need to win in the battle and you shall overcome. He says, the Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? David was running for his life and God met him. He encountered God and God gave him strength. He gave him supernatural strength and he had the victories. He had the victories over the wicked ones. He had the victories over those people that were his foes. He had the victory over those who wanted to eat up his flesh, over those who wanted him to stumble. Dear child of God, you will have the victory because God is by your side. So he's saying to you, trust my word. Believe me, have confidence in me because you will overcome. I did not bring you this far to leave you all by yourself. I did not bring you this far to allow the enemies to overcome you. I did not bring you this far to see that the things that you have labored for are taken from you. No way. God is saying, no way. He will not permit it. You would reach the end. He says, God, who had begun a good work, is faithful to complete it. Dear child of God, you cannot lose now. You have won up until this time and now you would have the final victory now you would win this last fight and you will stand your ground everything that are yours your possessions you will get 
in the mighty name of Jesus. Good news, dear child of God. God will bring you into your peace. God will bring you into your rest in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. It says, for he himself is our peace. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 14. God is your peace and it would make sure for all the troubles, everything you may have experienced, the turbulence, the issues of life, the sorrows of life, today you would enter into your rest and God will give you peace in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yes, it would make sure the dividing walls that had brought pains around you, it would tear them apart in the name of Jesus. It says, for the Lord your God is the God of gods, the Lord of laws, the great, mighty and awesome God. He says, showing no partiality, is accepting no bribe. But it's time for God to make sure you receive all the blessings that you deserve in the mighty name of Jesus. There is no partiality with God. And I want you to know that you are entering into your rest. You are entering into your peace in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Those who had been hateful against you, those who had brought you pain, those who made your life a misery, dear child of God, God will take them far away from you. God will take them so far away from you. And it would make sure you come into your rest. You would enjoy your blessings. You would enjoy good health. You would enjoy your home and marriage. Dear child of God, you would enjoy peace of mind. In Jesus' name, in the city, you shall be at rest. In Jesus' name, within your home, within your household, you shall be at peace in the name of Jesus. You shall live in your rest. In Jesus' mighty name, he says, O oh Lord, in Isaiah 26 verse 12, you will establish peace for us. For indeed, all that we have accomplished, you have done for us. Dear child of God, God will do for you everything that you have been praying for, everything that you seek, everything that you have been believing in Him for. He will do them and it will cause you to rejoice. It will cause you to be glad. It will cause you to be excited. In Jesus' mighty name, get ready, dear child of God. Get ready for you will testify of the Lord's goodness. In Jesus' mighty name, you will come into your rest. You will come into your peace and you would have reasons to rejoice. For the Lord is settling you, in Jesus mighty. And in the days of pains, the days of sorrows shall be gone forever. But I want you to know that God will put that shout of victory on your mouth. And this will cause the enemies to be afraid. This will bring fear against your foes, against those who have encamped against you. The word of God made clear says, When the wicked, even my enemies and my foes, came upon me to eat up my flesh. In Psalms 127 verse 2. He said they stumbled and fell my god he says they stumbled each and every one of them they will begin to stagger they will stagger for your sake and they will fall their child of god they will not be able to stand because god is standing with you because god is for you and he is saying you are victorious you are more than a conqueror you are more than a victor so hold your forth keep your position because you cannot go down Keep your position, keep your position, keep your faith in him because you will forever overcome in the mighty name of Jesus. Dear child of God, do not stand down right now. Do not retreat. Go, keep going forth. Keep going forth. Do not surrender because God is giving you that victory. Keep marching on. March on like the children of God. March on into the walls of Jericho and it fell, it fell down flat. Dear child of God, those walls of hostility will be falling down flat. Those walls that the enemies have built around your life to keep you caged, to keep you trapped, they will be falling down. Keep on marching because the Lord is your strength. He is your light. He is your salvation. And he said, you should not fear. You should not fear what man can do or what man wants to do against you because they cannot succeed. This is though and host should encamp against me my god he says my heart shall not fear my heart will not be afraid he says the war should rise against me in this will i be confident my god he says in this will i be confident and in what thing is that dear child of god it is in the word of god as the scripture made clear in psalms 56 verse 4 it says in god i will praise his word in god I have put my trust. I will not fear 
what flesh can do unto me. So hold on to the word of God. If God has said you will be victorious, hold on to the word of God because you have the victory. Hold on to the word of God and do not allow fear to come upon you. So he said, though they would rise against me, though they would encamp themselves against me, he says, my heart shall not fear. In Psalms 127 verse 3, he says, though war should rise against me, in these will I be confident. So go out there, dear child of God, and be confident in the word of God. Be confident in what God has said. He said his word in Isaiah 55 verse 11, will not return back unto him void and empty until they have produced the result at which they were sent for. Dear child of God, you will see result, you will see victory, and you will be an overcomer in the mighty name of Jesus. Stand your ground and be confident. Go out there and do not allow what they did in the past to get you down. Yes, they hit you very hard in the past. Yes, you almost became a casualty, but today you are not their prey. Rather, you would pray over them. From today, they will be afraid of you because the strength of the Lord is coming upon your life, is coming upon your lips, and is giving you that wisdom, that wisdom that they will not be able to gain. Say, dear child of God, everything that they have done to mock you, everything that they did in the past to get you down, they said some things against you and you began to cry. Yes, you were down in the past, but now they will discover that none of those things are getting you down anymore. That is because God has become your strength. That is because God has become your light. You will stand your ground. The things that they did in the past to get you down will not get you down. They thought they could manipulate you in the past, but dear child of God, they cannot succeed anymore and they will be stumbling. They will be falling for your sake in the mighty name of Jesus. They wanted you to see shame. They wanted you to see corruption. But from today on, dear child of God, every single one of them will be ashamed. Every single one of them will be shamed for fighting against you, for being your enemy in the mighty name of Jesus. So make up your mind today that I will not retreat. I will not surrender. I will keep marching on. I will keep going there until I have the victory. I will keep going because God is with me and God is fighting for me. I will keep charging into my victory, into my place of enthronement in the mighty name of Jesus. Dear child of God, it is settled. It is done by God. And this is what I want you to know. Every victory that you need, you will have them already. Each and every of those victories will come to you. You would have marital breakthroughs, marital victories in the mighty name of Jesus. You will have financial successes in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, in your relationships with people, you would have victories. You would have successes in the mighty name of Jesus. In all that you are pursuing, in your career, in your job, every single thing, in your academics, you would have victories in the mighty name of Jesus, in your family. In raising your home well, you would have victories in the mighty name of Jesus. In relating with your children again and your grandchildren, you would have victories in the mighty name of Jesus. The means at which they overcame you in the past has failed and no more will it succeed in the mighty name of Jesus. Dear child of God, they will not be able to manipulate you in the mighty name of Jesus. They will not be able never again to succeed against you. From today, your victories will be skyrocketing in the mighty name of Jesus. They will be seeing you in the flash and they will see you make progress in the mighty name of Jesus. And also with your eyes, you will see the reward that they would get, the reward of their evil, the reward of everything they did against you. Only with your eyes will you see it in the mighty name of Jesus. It is done. It is settled because God has said so. Your are victorious and you shall forever be an overcomer in Jesus mighty name so put your faith in God put your confidence in the word of God this is your confidence because you have the victory and the victory will remain with you forever in Jesus mighty name amen I say to you congratulations because it is done and it is settled in Jesus name amen it is well with you beloved God bless you and shalom